Hi, this is Ter Terry from Rambling Zoe, Texas Craft Room. What I'm going to be rambling about today is a new card that I made. And this is the card that I made. Uh, it says Mr. and Mrs. It's going to be a little wedding card. And it's done in a cream and black. And how I made this card was with tissue paper. And isn't this just the coolest thing? And I bought this at Walmart for a dollar a piece. And they so color coordinate. And uh, I thought they would just be beautiful. And I thought, I wonder if you could use this just like I did the napkins. And I could iron this on with some, just from some cling wrap, and to my card. And it works. Now, it is a little bit more temperamental than the napkins. Now, when I did the napkins, uh, they were a little easier to iron on. Uh, but this is not uh, temperamental or so hard that you don't want to do it. It's just a little bit different than the napkins. Okay. When It also gives you a total different look. The napkins, when you iron them on, to me, you get a, a canvasy feel to it. It is a different feel. Now, I had a lady email me and said, am I doing something wrong? I'm not getting that texture feeling. And I, and she was doing everything right. So, I don't know if it was a different type of napkin or, or what the deal was. But she was not getting that. Uh, it feels like texture. It feels very textury to me. And it feels like canvas. I'd be curious if anybody else thinks it feels like canvas or, you know, maybe I'm just crazy. But uh, anyway, the napkins, it works the same way as the napkins. And I'll show you how to do it. Let me show you this first, though. I also found this at Walmart. Just absolutely the most adorable um, papers. And you get so much for a dollar. So, for two dollars, I could probably make 50 cards. I mean, it's just unbelievable how far this goes. So, uh, what I did is I picked up the Mr. and the Mrs. Let me show you how it works. Now, I did learn a few things with uh, this, messing with this, because the first one I did turned out beautiful. It just is smooth, and this is different. This is textural. This is not. This is extremely smooth. This is smooth as a baby's behind. I'm not kidding you. It's just as smooth as can be. But the first one I did turned out beautifully. Okay. The second one I did, not so much. This turned out wrinkled and puffy and, oh my goodness, I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. And I, luckily, the second one messed up. The first one did great because if I had done the second one first, I probably would have never done it again. I would have said, oh, it doesn't work. But it does work. So, I'll tell you what I learned in trying to make the third and fourth one. I finally got the third one to work out fine. And then the, the next one worked out okay. But I was trying to figure out what I did wrong. Let me tell you what you have to do. Okay. You have to have a medium to, uh, yeah, about a little more than a medium hot, but not a hot iron, but, but about a medium iron, okay? And you got to leave a little extra around because this uh, saran wrap shrinks. And if you did any of the napkins, then you know they shrink. Uh, the, the saran wrap shrinks in a little bit. And if you don't have enough extra around, your edges may not be good. Also, I found it works better if you do it on an ironing board about the heat goes all the way through the ironing board I don't I have to do mine on a solid surface because I can't get my uh, camera over to the ironing board okay so you take your I, I just use cardstock so you take your cardstock and you put it over now what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply a lot of pressure because what you're wanting to do is iron that thing down if you just leave your iron there and do this it's going to wrinkle it you have to push really hard and you've got to iron it let me show you okay also I got a new iron uh, my other iron was an old iron and it didn't have a non-stick uh, surface on it. This is a non-stick surface. When I'm done, I, if it gets any of that glue on there, it just wipes right off. It works beautifully. Also, no steam. No water in your iron whatsoever. Okay, then you're going to put it on there and you're going to press really hard. Okay, and you're just going to go over it and over it. Just like this, back and forth. And you're going to iron it really hard. And I'm pushing... I am using some pressure, okay? I don't have a lot of pressure in my hands. I have a hard time with the punches. So, I don't have a lot of pressure. But I'm putting a little bit of pressure on this. Because I really want this to hear it down flat. Okay? And you just keep ironing it until you think it's done. And I just go back and forth. Back and forth. Okay? Until you get it ironed on. And that'll make it flat. Now, if you go like this, real lightly, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna wrinkle on you because that the uh, plastic is melting and in the p tissue paper. Take this off; it's really hot. The tissue paper is melting so fast. Uh, uh, the plastic is melting that wherever you move it. Uh oh. Uh oh, there he goes. Ah. 
Okay, and see it came up a little bit, and it's perfect. So you just put this back on it, and I don't care if that gets on my iron a little bit because I'm going to wipe it right off. Okay. And you can see right there it wrinkled because the way I picked it up. The rest of it smooth as can be. Okay. So if that happens to you, put your thing back over and iron it. Don't do what I did. Don't do what I did. Uh, but because this side over here is perfect. This is just a smooth. There's a wrinkle right there, which you probably could get out with the iron. Let's see if I can work it out with my iron. Yep. Worked it right out. See? And I like to go along the edges because I want to make sure my edges are good in the here. Okay, look at that. Just as smooth as it can be. Just as smooth as it can be. Now, see, it's good on my iron, but when my iron cools down, I'm just going to wipe all that off. This is what's so good. I'm telling you, $10 iron, best thing I ever bought. Okay, there we go. Now, this is just as smooth. I don't know if you can tell it. Just as, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm flying. Just as smooth as it can be, okay? This one, not so much. Well, no, not this one. This one. This one is. This one, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's just wrinkled right there, and I could not get it right here. It just, like, it bubbled up. But this one, excuse me, and it's all due with the pressure. you got to put a lot of pressure. <clears throat> excuse me. It's totally different than the napkins. You've got to put a lot of pressure, and you will get just as smooth as the baby's behind. I'm not kidding you. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this card. So, anyway, so what you do is you cut it out. Um, you take it, and you take your... Um, this is how I did it. Okay, now you've got it on your cardstock, and you take your uh, scissors or your chopper, and you chop it whatever size you want like this. So now you've got two. You're going to have a piece like this, and then you're going to have another piece that is your damask. And I took them to another piece of cardstock, and I put the damask underneath, and then I put this on top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my, to, to, to hide the edge coming together, is I'm going to run my ribbon right there, just like I did right here. Okay. And then I turn it over. Let's, let's pretend that this is the front of a card. We'll just turn this over and pretend it's the front of a card. And then you take this and then you just glue it. And you already have your ribbon right there. And there you go. You just made your card. And it's absolutely just, it's, it's a total different feel. It's smooth as baby silk. It's so pretty. If you get that pooling or if you get that where it crinkles up, it's more of a crinkling up, I think. If you get that crinkling up, you're not applying enough pressure. So I want to make some cards with this. I also did some cards with uh, this 2011 paper that I also got at Walmart. Uh, that um, it, I did, I did. Um, it says just says two, that class of 2011 on it. And these I did uh, all of my. Um, it's on my blog. It's a really blurry picture, but all of my graduation cards that I made for uh, the church that I supply cards for uh, that we sell in our church uh, bookstore, uh, I made them out of this 2011 paper. Absolutely gorgeous. It looks like I spent unbelievable amount of time stamping all of this on there, and of course I didn't. This also looks like you, you've taken a lot of time to stamp this on there, and it's not. It just looks like it is. But there, if you look around, there is unbelievable amount of uh, this tissue paper, and so cheap. This right here was a dollar. I mean, I got two dollars in paper, which is cheaper than the uh, napkins, and I could make probably 50 cards, if maybe more, out of this uh, little bit of tissue paper. And the more you look around, the more tissue paper you see that has different patterns on it. Okay, well, there's my uh, idea, and I know I'm not the first person to come up with this, uh, but I just wanted to see if it would work, and it did, and it worked beautifully, and I would recommend it is temperamental okay if you don't get it the first time please keep trying because i promise you it does work you will get as smooth as baby silk if you apply a lot of pressure okay that's the key is holding it down a lot okay all righty thank you ladies i appreciate it um our napkin swap is over we had a really nice napkin swap uh we got all of that done the first round is done i'm waiting on a couple people to send me the last and then i'm going to send some out uh i have another round of napkins to send out and those just turned out beautifully and got so many napkins uh that it turned out very nicely so i want to thank everybody who participated in that i don't know if we're going to be doing another one or not if we do i'll let you know uh, i'll put it on my blog but um maybe we'll do a um a tissue swap maybe that'll be fun too uh and do that uh, it really was a lot of fun so thank you very much and i hope you make a card if you do please let me know because i'd really like to see your card thank you so much for stopping by